When one mentions mummy, a blue mummy monster that loves to chom down the mummy's neck noodle would often pop into mind. But not many would know that the mummy double-decker Malaysia Berhad Empire actually started with the making of vermicelli, or commonly known in Malaysia as bihun. It was started off by my grandfather in 1971. So from there, it actually started off with a small line doing a vermicelli or bihun, I you can say. So from there, then he expanded on to instant, uh, to instant snack noodles. And also to our first instant noodles actually was named Lucky Noodles instead of Mummy. Kenneth says his family business stemmed from his great-grandfather's simple wish. He's actually my great-grandfather started off, uh, migrated to Malaysia and they owned a coffee shop. As you know, Hainanese people, they all mainly are in the food industry. Now. So first, I think first of all, he started off the factory or manufacturing foods was because he came from that background and he wanted to give the people of Malaysia something uh, wholesome and uh, edible, I mean, something nice to eat. Uh. From the humble beginning decades ago, the company has since expanded into a food manufacturing empire. Basically, it started off with, like I said, one line only. Then it grew to, we expanded in terms of uh, our distribution in Malaysia and also our, and the number of lines you see today. So from there, we kept expanding in terms of also our export market and also expanding in terms of uh, different product ranges we have and different categories as well in terms of snack, instant noodles, um, chilled beverages and also yogurt and yogurt drinks. One key ingredient in Mami's food products is palm oil. We do buy uh, different ranges of palm oil. First, uh, we do buy palm oil, palm oilin, carantino oil, which is also you know, the more refined version of palm oil. And we all use that all into uh, the variety of the ranges of our products. Palm oil, you see, it's uh, firstly, it's the most uh, cheapest oil that we have in Malaysia for frying and cooking. Second is because it can also withstand uh, high heating temperatures, which all our products go through high heating temperatures. Compared to, like, say, if you use some um, corn oil or, um, say, virgin or olive oil, you can't take um, you can't heat it up for very long and also it, the acid value goes up very fast. Kenneth says they work hand in hand with their palm oil suppliers to ensure the purity of the oils they use in their food products. So basically how we choose our suppliers is one, they must be up to date with the information in terms of the oil palm board. Second is also in terms of the quality of oil and the service they give to us which our supplier also helps us to do all these uh, tests before they actually send out. So we've got tests from them whenever we receive a batch of oil. We also do our own internal tests in terms of whether they are, the, how, how, is the, how high is the, like say the fat content, any foreign materials inside, um, what's the amount of vitamins inside. So we do do our own internal tests, plus our, again our supplier helps us to double check on that. So that is how we maintain the purity of the oil. But in terms of when it goes into a mixture of a seasoning, we do have also a dosing, a dosing machine that actually uh, controls the amount of how much dosage of oil versus seasoning that goes into our seasoning mixture. Over the years, Mami has established itself as one of the top manufacturers of instant noodles in Malaysia. Their line of instant noodles range from Mami Classic, Mami Express Cup, Mami Bihun, Mami Premium, Mummy Slurp, Mi Goreng Indonesia, and the latest edition, Chef Mummy. The way that uh, noodles are manufactured in our plant, basically it starts off with your silos out in the front. And actually, we buy the flour, raw wheat flour from our suppliers, and it gets pumped into the silos. Uh, we actually get it pumped through a sifter, which actually cleans and sifts the flour before we actually put it into the mixer. The next stage is, like I said, the mixer, where we do mix flour, um, other starches and uh, ingredients into the flour to make our dough. After that, the next process goes through is the slitter, the roller machine, basically where it rolls the, the dough into flat sheets, which then goes into eight separate uh, rollers, which makes it thinner and thinner and thinner, before it gets uh, cut or we call it slitted at the end. Now, the slitting process is basically the next process where the noodles actually get their curvy or wavy shapes. After that, it goes through a steamer 
and comes out at the other end before it gets uh, to the cutting or the pulling process. But not all lines have the pulling process like I mentioned because we have different type of noodles. The folded noodles do not have this pulling process. Only the new technology that you see the Lamian and the Mami Chef has this pulling process which actually is that uh, the method in which how we make the noodles more springy by stretching the noodles like how you, you would in a, say a noodle restaurant where they actually bang it on the table, pull it. After the pulling process, actually we cut it into size and we cut it into portions. After it's been cut into portion, it goes into the fryer where it gets fried and then after it comes out it goes into the next process which is the cooling process so we have to cool the noodles before it gets packed otherwise then you will have your packages will all bulge up so after the cooling process it goes into the packing process which is actually in, in a separate room altogether it's not part of the production process this is a separate packing room where all the noodles get packed into the individual wrappers or packages After that, it, gets, it goes into the cuttoning, then it goes to the warehouse to get shipped off. Et voilà! The instant noodles are cooked and packed and ready to be delivered in less than 30 minutes. With innovative business strategies and new technologies, and more importantly, the insistence of providing nutritious food products of superb value, the family brand has remained a strong household name in Malaysia. Mm.